As Kenya marks the 52nd independence anniversary today, President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto rallied behind Treasury Cabinet Secretary and the Anti-Corruption Commission, saying opposition leader Raila Odinga must prove his claims on Eurobond cash. Raila has refused to appear before the anti-graft body to give evidence on his allegations that up to 140 billion shillings of the sovereign bond money was lost. But Uhuru and Ruto now say Raila cannot use the Eurobond allegations to gain political mileage while refusing to give evidence. President Uhuru Kenyatta led Kenyans in marking the 52nd anniversary since Kenya became a republic. Concerns about runaway corruption in government and need to deal a decisive blow on the vice have been expressed by the opposition, civil society and diplomatic missions. And on this occasion, the president was talking tough on corruption and the corrupt. Corruption is our great enemy. We need to fight it with the same tenacity and unity of purpose with which we have fought and won other battles. Corruption is corrosive. Corruption kills. The time has come for Kenyans to fight this vice by mounting a truly national campaign. The president warned that the fight on corruption will spare nobody because corruption is bleeding and hurting Kenyans. No one called to account should ever again hide under the false claim that their community or their religion is under siege. Your community nor your religion were there when you were stealing. President Kenyatta says the own corruption must be sustained and wants to see decisive action from the judiciary. Kenyans want to see those who rob them of their hard-earned money prosecuted and their ill-gotten gains frozen and reclaimed and, and strong and heavy jail terms handed out. To these individuals. On Friday, the president issued a Gazette notice prohibiting the transfer of property that may have been purchased with funds embezzled from the National Youth Service. The property will be held until all cases relating to the NYS scam are concluded. Still on asset seizures, the president disclosed that the government has either frozen or recovered 2.2 billion shillings of corruptly acquired money and property. Another 200 million shillings held in Swiss accounts in connection with Anglo leasing fraud has also been frozen. We are working with other friendly governments to ensure that illegally acquired assets hidden in their countries are also returned. It does not matter what is required with the proceeds of corruption. Ultimately, all will be forfeited. On the controversial Eurobond, the president accused the opposition of undermining the credibility of government institutions that manage the sovereign bond as well as undermining investor confidence through unsubstantiated claims. The Anti-Corruption Commission is investigating the use of proceeds from Eurobond funds after the opposition accused the National Treasury of fraud. Code leader Raila Odinga has maintained he will not comply with the Anti-Corruption Commission's summons to appear before it on Monday over the Eurobond saga despite the commission's threat to prosecute him for failure. Yes. I agree that those entrusted with public positions must be held to account. And if found guilty, the maximum punishment meted out. But the sword of justice cuts both ways. If you make accusations and fail to prove them, you too will also be held accountable. We are prepared to be held to account by all institutions of governance and by Kenyans in their individual capacity or in any other capacity as leaders or as ordinary Kenyans. We are prepared to answer questions of any nature in the use of public funds. Uhuru urged the opposition to engage his government in constructive criticism and not propaganda. <laughs> na kufanya mambo ambaye inaharibu uchumi wa nchi hii kwa sababu jameni unataka wa Kenya waumie kwa sababu unachukia uhuru kama unachukia uhuru ngoja wakati wa uchaguzi ukifika utaenda utakampeni nikikushinda ugojee miaka ingine mitano tuendelee 
baada ya hiyo miaka mitano basi mimi nitaondoka dunia iendelee the tough talking president says he's determined to reduce the administration of corruption. He's brought in the private sector in the war, but now he wants to see the judiciary play its role in ensuring that there is faster prosecutions of suspects on those corruption cases. Patrick Kamimo, KTN News, Nairobi.